Hey, it's the Greg Sir with March 9th reading from Hope for Today. It's a long one, so I'm going to speed read it. Ready? Alanon tells me I don't have to accept unacceptable behavior. It has taken me a long time to learn what is acceptable, even desirable behavior looks like, so that I can determine what is unacceptable. I believe strongly that these difficulties have a lot to do with my growing up in alcoholism. Because I seldom experienced acceptable behavior, I thought unacceptable behavior was normal. It wasn't until I came to Alanon that I discovered a better way to live. One particular area I struggle with is sorting out hurtful criticism from constructive comments. I hate getting criticized. One suggestion that helps me is to consider the source. This helps me to stop assigning equal importance to everything everybody says about me. If constructive comments come from my sponsor, who I know is grounded in the program, I listen and give careful consideration to her words. If the active alcoholic in my life criticizes me in an abusive manner, I consider the source. In other words, I remind myself that's alcohol speaking, not my loved one. Therefore, there's no point in my assigning the same weight to the alcoholic's words as I do my sponsor. When I consider the source, I am reminded to detach and place principles above personalities. I don't have to spend so much energy resenting those who speak to me through the fog of this insidious disease. Once I've done this, I can ask myself, how important is it? Considering the source also reminds me to have compassion for the person struggling under the thick layer of the disease of alcoholism. For me, considering the source is a large portion of the program in action thought for the day. Among the people in my life whose words are worth taking to heart. Quote, what cruel words fly from the mouth of another person, drunk or sober? Al-Anon helps me remember that I have choices from courage to change. Talked to my sponsor today and he said, I'm getting my butt kicked by my sponsor. He's telling me where to go, what to do, when to work out. He's like controlling and micromanaging my life. But since it's his sponsor and he's in early recovery, he's like, I'm just going to go with it. He's got 30 years of sobriety. His name is Jerry, by the way. This is the Gregster. I'll see you tomorrow for March 10th. Adios. Sorry, it's unedited. Talk to you later.